<laughs> just in case you arrived. Um, welcome, everybody. This is the Qbert Community Meeting. It is the 13th of December, 2023. Um, yeah, unfortunately, as soon as I shared my screen, I can no longer hear anyone. So as we go throughout, um, if I'll, I'll pause, I'll mute. If you've got something to say, please let me know in the chat. Otherwise, I presume no one has anything to say. Um, and I'll just keep my eyes on the chat for any clues as to when anyone else is speaking. Um, I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, this is just life with Zoom, I guess. Um, all righty. So we'll get started. If you could please pop your name down in the attendees uh, bit here. Um, thank you. Uh, do we have anyone who is new this week and would like to take a couple of minutes or two sentences to introduce themselves as to you know, who you are and why you're here. And just, yeah, if, if you do, please let me know in the chat that you're saying something. I'll take that as a note. Um, yeah, I unfortunately, as the meeting host, I can't seem to leave the meeting without kicking everyone out. Um, <laughs> so I, I figure this is the the, the lesser of two evils. But um, if if it is a an extremely uncomfortable experience for everyone, um, we can leave, come back, and someone else can can moderate or share the screen. Uh, I'm definitely open to that. But as it is, uh, I'm happy being uncomfortable. Um, so if we do continue, what I'll do is uh, open up the 1.2 schedule. Watching chat. All right, this has not been updated, but there is a PR currently open, um, which is moving this back, um, everything back one week. Uh, this is because, as I understand, you talked about it last week, uh, Kubernetes itself, 1.29, was one week delayed um, going out. And so where there's a PR open to effectively um, match our schedule for, for that. Um, and if you go to the SIGS release, it's the only PR open there. So I don't have a link to it uh, immediately handy. But if you've, got, if you've got concerns or if you've got thoughts or opinions, uh, then by all means, jump on that PR. Um, next thing, we'll close that. Our events, uh, there's nothing. FOSDEM closed last Friday. I haven't updated this. Um, and I'm not even sure. So release cadence one month later. I think it's just one week for PR. Let's have a look at it. 1.29 did go out. And the Kubernetes SIG release team is now talking about 1.30. Um, yep, one week, as Federico has pointed out in chat. Um, yeah, and let me know if you want to say anything again. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I also made the error of putting everything, all of my notes, into the template, like a, a true ignoramus. Um, so there is nothing in the agenda or the open floor. Uh, so I'll go straight into the pull requests. But if you do have something to add, uh, by all means, add it and then let me know in chat, and we'll return to it after we've gone through the um, the the usual triages. All righty, so I've got uh, two pull requests. Uh, the first, I wasn't sure whether to include this, so I included it just as a matter of precaution. Um, my aggression is verifying source and target containers using checksums. I couldn't see a bug associated with this. Um, if anyone wants to speak to this, please let me know in chat. Um, and is anyone able to take a look at this PR? It's not, it's not, ah, oh, it's three hours old. So it's it's very fresh. Excellent. Thank you, Federico, for taking that on. 
Our next one. I am also wasn't sure where to include this because I wasn't sure whether the staging um, API meant something that means we don't really need to look at it. Um, staging API, add printable status default value. Uh, this is a bug fix. I don't think it has anyone else on it. Um, yeah, is anyone able to uh, take a look at this? Next thing. Oh yeah, and there we have Qvert but doing its job automatically adding the kind slash API change label. Thanks, bot. Excellent. Thank you, Federica. Moving on. Uh, these first two are more of a uh, FYI CC. Okay. Um, I'll, I will do that at the end when I'm when I move all this. I'll CC you the two pull requests. Just so I'm not wasting anyone's precious time. Um, okay. Thank you. Um, so this was uh, raised uh, this time last week. Um, it's a proposal to deprecate uh, webhooks v1 alpha 1. And as I understand it, um, it does have a related uh, design proposal. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this spins out of it. Yes. Um, yeah, and so this is just, I, I do try and um, FYI the new and merged design proposals for folks in this meeting. Um, so that's what that is. If, you, if you've got um, feelings about it, here is the PR for you to um, express those feelings. Similarly, we have another one, I think raised by Jed. Yep. Um, a VM rollout stretch. And this isn't a new um, design proposal, but it, it, I think it was raised in August. But it is one that um, he is being re-energized. No description. Um, yep. So that's there. I think um, just trying to get some traction on that so that it can be uh, pushed forward and merged. Um, yeah. So once again, if you've got opinions, there it is. Uh, the next two, um, now I wouldn't um, blame you if you didn't see these. I only noticed these, somehow these got picked up in um, in my spam filter. Um, so the same thing might have happened to you. Um, the Kubert Pi package version does not conform to PEP 440. Um, I don't know what PEP 440 is. Install. And once again, if you've got something, please let me know in chat so I can. I do not think anybody slides. is maintaining this repository. Um, yeah, is does this mean anything to anyone? Was anyone able to help? Can you hear me? Uh, no, Lugo, sorry. Uh, he cannot hear us while uh, he's sharing, so you need to uh, write. <laughs> ah, perfect. We can hear you, but. Perfect. Same situation as uh, previous week, right? Yes, yeah, same. The, uh, I don't know, next uh, last week or two weeks ago. Nobody? Uh-huh. But this seems to be something that we are including in our build, isn't it? Oh, 
No, the qubit pi package is has nothing to do with us. Qubit client Python. Oh, this this is the the client Python is what we're not maintaining. Oh, I see. All right. Um, all right, I can let them know if that's the case with that then. Thank you. Next one was about, this one was also randomly uh, in my spam folder. Uh, Network binding plugin API. Um, is anyone able to, does this make sense to anyone? Is Ed on the line? Oh, yes. Thank you, Ed. I did not see anything in the bug scrub. Um, but if you've got a bug that needs attention, by all means, um, throw it in and um, we can try and get some attention on that. Last one, I left a little note here. Um, the flaky test fixes. Maybe it's too early to celebrate because it's not merged. I don't really know how it's this something. But we have a nice fix here from Igor um, about the CPU hot plug tests. Uh, is does, is anyone on the line able to, um, I don't know if Igor's here, want to quickly talk about this and what's being done here? Please let me know in chat. Everyone gets the silence. All righty. Um, well, we, if, if you don't have any uh, thoughts or feelings on it, um, I will return to this when it gets merged at a later, at a later meeting. And it doesn't look like, well, maybe it's been added down here. Yes, uh, nobody's added anything to the agenda and notes. No one's added anything to the open floor. Um, I will leave an elongated silence now um, for anyone to chime in with anything that they wish to share. Any uh, thoughts, questions, um, celebrations, uh, thanks to give, anything like that. Um, yeah, but, but please let me know in chat so I know that you're talking. All right, I think that is silence enough. Um, hopefully that was as awkward for you as it was for me. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you everyone for paying attention to the uh, the PRs and the issues that have been raised on the mailing list. Uh, thanks everyone for bearing with me and not being able to hear anything again. Um, I think I have some upgrades to do. Um, yeah, hopefully everyone has a wonderful afternoon and weekend and we'll see you next week. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.